Welcome to the catacombs. Things just got harder. Are you ready? We'll make sure you're ready. Let's break it down. First up, the layout. The layout will have a lot of long corridors which open to drop down to more corridors. This will restrict your downward movement, which means floor phasing or a digging wand can help relieve some of that restriction at the cost of some risk. Having magical mapping can help a lot because sometimes there are ways around hard bosses and faster routes to the exit. There is a lot of shrines in the catacombs, which means high chance of comboing a light and a bloody or a smith and a shackle. The first of the three enemies are the zombies. These guys have a fast slash with their arms that deals 14 damage when you're at zero defense. They will burrow into the ground and then pop up where you were standing when they went down. It's best to keep a distance and use range or go in for a quick attack and then run back before they attack. Next up, the hands. The hands walk around in the catacombs. When close, they will glow and lunge at you. If they touch you this way, they will grab you and squeeze you dealing 16 to 18 damage at zero defense. They will then throw you. The biggest thing with them is don't get grabbed near spikes or other enemies. They have the ability to crawl on walls and on the ceiling. If the hand misses the grab, it will run away until it can grab again. Best strategy to taking them out is to bait their grab and attack them while they run away. If you get grabbed, spam your fastest attack to break out. Now on to the ghosts. The ghosts of the catacombs won't always spawn. If you do encounter them, they will fade in and out of visibility. You can see them ready up for the cutting lunge attack when they become visible and let out a giggle sound cue to summon a sword. This will deal 9 damage if you are at zero defense. The biggest tip with them is that you can still hit them even if you can't see them. Lastly, one of the largest threats will be the spike traps. They have a short delay on them before they shoot up and cause 999 damage. Light feed is extremely helpful with this. You may also see some normal spikes like from the caves in some generations. A lot of the time you'll have to lure enemies away from the spikes because it is too dangerous to fight on them. If an item or a chest is on the spikes, it may be best to ignore it as you will only have a short amount of time to pick it up before the spikes shoot up. If you want to risk grabbing the item, you should run and press down and jump at the same time. Just be careful and make sure the item is worth it. Maybe you'll be able to make it to the next area now. And if you need help with that area, we'll be covering it soon. Thank you for watching to the end. Up next, Catacomb Bosses.